Today I'd like to talk to you about my jolt story. It happened uh, some years back. I was parked uh, next to uh, Central here uh, in uh, McCook, Central uh, Elementary School, and I I had just received uh, from my wholesaler a new pop and of course every product he brings through he says this will make you a million dollars well 99.9% .9 of the time they don't be that as it may he'd come through with a product and I don't even I wish I still had a can I don't anymore so we'll just use a pop can to give you an example but it had one word written on it and it was called jolt and it had twice the caffeine of a regular can of pop True, it was only one-third of a cup of coffee and caffeine in the jolt, but it was twice as much as anyone else's can of pop. Didn't taste worth a darn, uh, it, was, it was a poor quality cola in my humble opinion. Be that as it may, that's what the wholesaler was a-pushing. And he made me a pretty good deal because he was trying to get it in this area better, so he offered me 200 cans of that pop. And uh, I said, I suppose I would, and I kind of cringed though, and, uh, but the price was cheap enough that I said, okay, I'll take it. And so I started, and I was selling about six cans of it a day. And uh, I did that for, I believe, about one week or five days, uh, 30 cans of pop, give or take. And I uh, was kind of kicking myself for buying it, because it takes forever to sell. And the normal cans of Coke and Pepsi sell so much better, Dr. Pepper. Uh, so I was kicking myself for even buying it. Well, I was uh, pulled up to Central one evening, and uh, the kids came out, not just dribbles and drabbles, you know, just a few at a time, but uh, they came out like a herd of elephants, all headed at me. And I'm like, what is this all about? And boy, they come running up there, uh, and uh, all of them screaming, they wanted to buy a can of Jolt Pop. Luckily, I had it on board, because I had, uh, you know, set up for it. But I only had about 20 cans cold. They didn't care. They would gladly pay full price for a can of hot pop. How foolish. But be that as it may. Fine. So I, uh, that evening, I sold... Uh, the, the rest of the cans of pop, what's that, uh, maybe 170 cans of pop, and I, I sold that in probably less than 30 minutes. It was crazy, crazy, and I couldn't figure it out. Well, the wholesaler happened to be coming through the next day, so I told him, hey, bring me another 200 cans. I sold these out. He didn't believe it. But I, uh, he brought them in to me, and I loaded them up and tried to cool them down a little bit. I said, I wonder if it, if it had happened two days in a row. Well, it did. Here they came again, and they wiped me out, and they not only wiped me out, there were kids had to leave because they didn't buy any. Kids were buying six of them at a time. Okay, fine. I hadn't figured out what was going on. That night, however, I was um, uh, at a store, I believe Walmart, doesn't matter, and uh, a teacher, which really didn't care for me, come walking up and said, we shut your business down. And I said, excuse me? Uh, and she said, we told those kids, we found out that you were selling Jolt, so we told those kids that uh, uh, not to drink that pop, it was bad for them, it had all that caffeine and stuff in it. And I said, ah, so that's the reason. You told them not to. I said, if you keep telling them that, I'm going to be a rich man. And I said, I uh, was selling six cans a day. You're telling them. And uh, yesterday I sold 200 cans, you know. And her eyes got kind of fuzzy because it, it made her angry and she confused herself. And I said, yeah, as soon as you tell a kid not to do something, they're going to do it. And I said, adults the same way. But be that as it may. Uh, I said, uh, just shut up about it, and I bet it'll be back down to six cans in no time. The next day, I sold about a hundred cans. It didn't taste that good, but as soon as they shut up about it and didn't push the subject, the kids themselves backed away from it, and uh, within another 30 days, I didn't even carry it on the truck. It wasn't selling at all. So, the next time uh, a teacher thinks that she can get ahead of the kids by ordering them what to do or what not to do. It would be wise to just sometimes back off. You might want to give the information, 
But uh, to tell them, don't you dare do something, look out. They're going to do it. This is McCook's Mr. Bill. I hope this information helps you teachers out there and others, including parents. Thank you.